Sunday, May 21st. Well, President Trump's over in the Mideast right now, still in Saudi Arabia, just had his talk about Islamic extremism. I'll tell you, when it comes to foreign policy, I've got to give his group around him, and then he's actually listening to him, his advisors, a, a check plus so far. They're over there saying the right things. He is a Machiavellian type leader, but the way it worked before with President Obama's failed absolutely failed foreign policy, and President Bush's pretty much failed foreign policy. After 16 years of this, we have been saying for years, and was that we're going to have this vacuum when America kind of withdraws and doesn't really positively push its influence overseas, and it would be leading to a real vacuum, and the bad guys would be jumping in. Well, they did. We see over a million refugees going everywhere. And President Obama stepped in. He had no problem stepping up and taking on the Syrians when they came after our troops and, and had no trouble taking them on with the, with the chemical weapons, didn't do much but pop them. And now he's over there dealing with our friends, the Sunnis. We've been saying it's time to get the Sunnis together with the Israelis. How much sense does that make? You got money, you got uh, a great military, you got uh, really a lot of smarts, you got it all. The way to confront Iran, the way to confront Hezbollah, is, and, the, and the Shiites that way, is to be able to bring the Israelis in with the Sunnis. It doesn't make sense otherwise. So that's what he's doing. He's trying to bring it together. He ignored President Erdogan's uh, bodyguards who were horrible, who were you know, beating citizens or beating people real, who had the right to protest. I don't know. I don't want to hear about diplomatic immunity. We should have jailed those guys. But he's working with these people. He's overlooking all the bad stuff. He's working with them to try to look on the overall, which is how do we kind of bring a, 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 a simmering to what's been going on out in the Middle East as, as, as the bad guys have been getting bigger and bigger and the Russians have been getting more involved and, and kind of pushing them along. And we're now exercising American power. I don't have a problem with it. And I think he's doing a pretty good job with it. My only complaint is, as you know, is that there's no holistic approach. He's not looking how this will really affect that. But his advisors are pretty good. He's going one-on-one -on -one with these countries. But his advisors are pretty good. We'll see. But it's only a start. Every administration starts. It looks good when they go into their trips in foreign policy. And the first meetings are always great. So who knows? But i got to give him credit so far with this, which is the exact opposite of how he's been dealing with, with affairs here in America. But I got to give him the start. It looks okay. Uh, Korea, of course, is now keeps firing off their missiles. It's almost like they're looking for attention. We're going to see how he works there. I think he's going to be working through President Moon, the new president of Korea, and President Z. We'll see what happens. He's keeping his head down with that. That's the way to play with it. I think I think we're doing okay on foreign policy so far. So I, I say, President Trump, keep on rocking. I only wish he'd had the right guys around him here, guys gender neutral, and would actually listen to him and, and not make a, a big thing out of nothing and then make himself a, a person who's trying to conceal that which is not there. I, I don't understand the dichotomy. But it is what it is. Things are moving forward. I think foreign policy is our most important issues. Important issue so right along with that, and peace.